Good morning, everybody. We hope you had a great weekend. Welcome back to the Mannheim More Than a Minute newsroom. Today is Monday, December 14th, 2020. Today is a day C, and your specials are art and music. Boy, do we have a great week planned for you guys. What day is it? National Monkey Day. Monkey Day serves as an important anniversary each year for raising awareness of modern threats to monkeys. Not only are they playful, intelligent, and friendly, but monkeys are also some of the cutest animals around. There are 262 species of monkeys in the world, half of which are currently endangered. Now, how can you celebrate this day? Hmm, eat a banana, or better yet, this is what I'm gonna do. Eat some Ben and Jerry's ice cream. It's called Chunky Monkey. Now, I don't know if ice cream counts as celebrating National Monkey Day. Oh, well, I like ice cream. <laughs> so 262 species. Yeah, who know? I would have said like 10. Who do you think researches all that and, and figures all this out? That's a lot of monkeys. That is. Mm. I don't know. They're cute little things, though. They are. Hi, everybody. It's time for Mindfulness Monday. To get ready, I would like everybody sitting in a comfortable chair your feet flat on the floor, calm bodies, quiet mouths. I would like you to clear your mind of anything that you're thinking of and to clear yourself of all distractions that may be around you. All right, let's get started. Today, we are going to really try to focus on our breathing and to practice letting our thoughts just flow in and out. As we begin, close your eyes, and take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. As you continue breathing, I want you to focus on one thing that you can hear or feel. I want you to spend the next two minutes focused only on this. If you find that your thoughts wander, just gently direct them back to what you are focused on. It is normal to have wandering thoughts. Just simply acknowledge that they are there and refocus yourself. Continue to keep breathing and staying focused on what you choose. Bring your thoughts back to something that you can hear or feel. Stay focused on something that you chose that you can hear or feel. When you are finished, take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth and slowly open your eyes. Good job, everybody. The core value for December is generosity, and the animal for this month is the Angora goat. Angora goats are kept on farms all around the world, and these goats are best known for being the softest and the most fluffy goats in the entire world. These goats are often kept on farms for their hair, which is called mohair. Their mohair can be turned into lots of different things, including socks, scarves, sweaters, and coats. Well, it seems like Angora goats know the meaning of generosity. They make someone's day by giving their hair away. I totally want an Angora goat now. Well, Mrs. Bowers, last week you wanted a llama. Yeah, can I have both? I mean, your yard wasn't big enough for a llama. Now no, you... I found out it is. Oh, I could have two llamas, actually. Really? But what about a goat? Does that fit? Yes. Okay. I'm going to so, say yes. So if you get a goat, would you make me socks? Yes, because you hate cold feet. <laughs> I do hate cold feet. And, you know, I know a couple weeks ago you said you know how to sew. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm so, sure I can <laughs> spin some yarn. <laughs> Things are coming together here, guys. <laughs> it's time, boys and girls, to remember what our star expectations are. Strive to do your best. Take responsibility for your actions. Always be safe and respect people and property. Now, we have a great surprise for you. Each day until December 23rd, we're gonna have some special holiday messages 
for you to enjoy. We know you guys are going to love them as much as we do. Enjoy watching. the red was looking out the window when he said it's going to rain his wife asked how do you know because Rudolph the red knows rain dear <laughs> <laughs> I like that one mrs. Campbell what does Christmas have to do with a cat lost in the desert beats me they both have sandy claws. Ah! <laughs> that's a good one. You know I don't like cats, though. I know that. Okay. Was, that's what right. I to tell you. Okay. <laughs> what do snowmen like to do on the weekend? I don't know what. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> and probably watch Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get if you cross an iPad with a Christmas tree? I don't know. What? A pineapple. Uh, <laughs> get it? I apple. get it. Pine I had. Tree. Yep, that's a good one. What do road crews use at the North Pole? I don't know. Snow cones. Oh, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. All right, last one, Mrs. Campbell. All right, I'm ready. What did one ma snowman say to the other snowman? Oh, gosh, what? Do you smell carrots? Oh, I think it's a carrot nose. Oh, that's so funny. We miss you, Mannheim. We hope that you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and we cannot wait to have you back with us. Have a great Christmas. See ya. Bye. Make today an amazing day, Mannheim.